हमारा ट्रेनिंग बच्चा आइसक्रीम खा रहा है छुपा रहा है अभी आइसक्रीम ओके ओके अभी इसका हम इंटरव्यू करेंगे थोड़े टाइम के बाद अभी तक यूनिफॉर्म में नहीं है यूनिफॉर्म में लेते हैं इसको अभी ठीक है ठीक है सो हेलो एवरी वन सो राइट नाउ वी आर हैविंग द ट्रेनिंग इट यू विद अस मिस्टर अभिषेक ही हैज डन हिज इट यू कोर्स आफ्टर डिग्री he has done first electric engineering yes then he has done the etio course and then he joined in synergy so now he is going to share his experience also he is going to tell us the how to join the ship join the merchant navy as a eto so from the beginning he will start so he will explain us all the things that uh, how to join the merchant navy as a eto so please mm-hmm. give us all the experience or so hello try. so hello everyone so after 10th or uh, 12th completed science 12th science uh, then uh, 12th science then pcm 60 plus after that you have to eligible in electrical engineering normal electrical engineering in uh, no kt two kt is accepted in uh, some colleges and uh, electrical engineering means 60% or 50% above in uh, uh, all college accepted so you have done diploma or degree no no i have d- completed in degree so he has 12. completed his diploma first no no i will come first 10th science uh, 10th completed then 12th, then 12th science then uh, pcm 50 plus eligible then i will directly going to degree so after 12th he went for the degree directly, uh, for yeah, electric engineering yes. uh, telecommunication something Ele- normal electrical engineering okay, uh, so colleges accepted in electrical engineering electronics engineering electronics instrumentation engineering but you have to do first planning now then electrical engineering is good for uh, in, in this ship so if you are having the other stream like uh, electronics electricals uh, or uh, which one instrumentation whatever you can you are eligible for eto yes. you can do the eto but course. college uh, placement record na electrical engineering first preference for uh, candidates so and electronics also but instrumentation little bit decreasing okay hmm. So after the degree, you gave any CET or something like that uh-huh. to to get the admission for ETO. Uh, CET is not, but uh, college entrance test is uh, conducted like uh, Tolani, Samudra, uh, and Anglo Eastern, Great Eastern Sh- Shipping Corporation of India is top five colleges. I will suggest it. So this college is good for uh, your future because other colleges not placement like good, but. Uh, uh, this college is conducted exam uh, twice a year or uh, thrice a year but exam after that exam passed then interview conducted after that uh, they will select it hmm. okay so after completion the degree you have to search for the companies yes. those who are coming up <coughs> with the forms hmm. uh, directly companies or colleges coming up with the forms uh, after 12th uh, after engineering na electrical engineering then you have to uh, search which colleges is uh, best i will suggested first go to anglo eastern after that great eastern then tolani then samudra then sci then so a new these, conducted college seven uh, seven island this i will suggested this six colleges is good for uh, eto courses so whatever he said its companies actually these companies are giving the sponsorship uh, they conduct the exam first we have to uh, complete the entrance exam then, then go for the interview, interview. then this company will send you to the their own college oh, for okay. the eto course mm-hmm. and they will make sure that you complete your eto mm-hmm. and after completion the eto they will provide you a job yes. the placement the yes. same same company mm-hmm. so basically you are looking for the uh, sponsorship once you complete your uh, degree you are looking for the sponsorship okay so mm-hmm. once you clear the this all the procedure from the company then uh, you are going to the college yes. for uh, this uh, eto course what is the duration for the eto course four months course and eight months on board training so you have to go into the college for a four month four month is your uh, training in the institute and eight months you have uh, you need to have a on board ship Sitting, sailing ex- experience COC. Ah, for the coc yes, and remember. how much it cost uh, which was how much it cost the eto course and the uh, placement in a, like colleges different colleges different fees but co- vary to vary through to 5 lakhs okay so around it is maybe around 3 uh, to 4 lakhs, lakhs uh-huh. it's cost you for the eto course and uh, after completion the eto course company will send you to the ship ship ha uh-huh. okay after that you need to be on board for the 8 months, months uh-huh. so you have to complete the 8 month sea service on board after that you can go for your coc, COC exam exams, yes. okay and uh, after that 
After that, COC will be cleared, then uh, company will be promoted or assistant due to or depend on company or otherwise directly electric, uh, electrotechnical officer. This okay. depends on company or it depends on uh, performance. Okay. In uh, my suggestion, uh, you have to go with sponsorship, it's good. But uh, you have to go with placement, uh, then depends on college, depends on luck. In my college, uh, I have done my uh, elect, uh, UTO course in IMI Greater Noida. It's North India Paste Institute. But here, uh, uh, diploma holders not placed, 0% placed in my college. Degree holders uh, only 70%, uh, 80%. Others uh, all are home, no placement here, no placement. That's why I am suggesting sponsorship is good for your future. Okay, mm. so if someone has done the diploma in electric engineer, mm. is it possible for them to come courses? The uh, I will suggest in two diploma orders colleges. Na, you have to go first IMI Greater Noida, then uh, Shipping Corporation of India, Mumbai, then third one is JHIMT Chennai, and fourth one is IMIT. But I have to suggest first degree, then you have to come here. Okay, so after completing the diploma, if you are possible, you possible but uh, placement is uh, not good. Degree first preference will be degree candidate, then uh, diploma is not uh, good. Okay, correct. So, if you are having the diploma, that is a uh, little bit you know, you will have a problem to it's get a a job only to 5 to 10 percent placement record in uh, diploma holders in colleges. Okay, okay. Mm. so what he is trying to say is. First, complete your degree, then only go for the ETO hmm. because it suggested. is uh, good for you to get a job very soon. If you have done a diploma and going to the ETO course, it is uh, very difficult, difficult afterwards to get the job. Hmm. So, uh, after degree completion, he completed his ETO course and now he got selected for the synergy. synergy yes. hmm. He has completed your ETO, you completed in? In a two, uh, March 2023, after uh, 8 months, I will here home after that i will come here eight months waiting period okay so make sure that after completion the eto course you need to wait it is not like uh, just day you completed today eto course and tomorrow you will get a joining yes. it is not like that mm. you have to wait it's depend on the company that how fast they are giving the joinings to you and uh, he has joined just before one month what, two, half, one, half, half months. one and a half month he has completed on board and right now, the next he is going to explain his experience as trainee ATO on board. How is your experience? His experience is good. I will uh, searching new things and uh, information, good knowledge for me in a COC time. I will uh, in increasing my knowledge and everything day by day and improvement also. Here, the staff is also good and uh, improvement for me. It's good. I will uh, try to my knowledge increasing and get uh, COC after I will come here. Again. Okay, uh, so what is your suggestion for the newcomers, either join, don't join, or what they need to prepare? You have to, means uh, homesickness problem is, uh, your homesickness problem is here, na? so don't join this field. Homesickness, no problem, you have to come here, uh, anyway, salary is good for uh, YouTube also, and uh, good field, hard working job, I will uh, almost 14 to 15 hours daily, I will, uh, <laughs> hours work, 14 to 15 you have took 14-15 uh, hours work then welcome to join this field otherwise don't come you have to not hard, hard working now that's not come this field okay so what basically is trying to say that working of merchant navy is little bit hard hmm. it's heavy duty industry yes. if you are physically strong if you are ready to work hard you can come welcome here you can join this field suggesting first degree completed then uh, i will say say now nah, these colleges first you have to go these colleges otherwise go imi noida then uh, m8 then himt these three colleges otherwise this good but also placement record will be 60 percent 70 percent depends on luck 50 percent okay uh, but after first sponsorship now nah, then your future will be safe okay so if you are thinking about the eto course make sure get sponsorship first mm. from the companies then only go for the ETO course mm. if you are not getting the sponsorship then it is very difficult to get the job mm. so make sure you are getting the sponsorship mm. and uh, tenth, so uh, uh, tenth, nah, 10th 60 plus uh, I will share my, uh, my criteria for uh, eligibility for uh, ETO course 10th 60 percentage above and uh, also English 60 plus after 12th PCM 50 plus and then um, also 
uh, English also 60 plus then degree only two or one uh, backlog is expected colleges other six seven is not good then uh, also 50 or uh, 60 plus uh, per, uh, percentage uh, expected and diploma also 60 plus and degree for a uh, 50 percent but depends on college Anglo Great Eastern they will conduct a 60 70 depends on criteria in Anglo Great Eastern uh, in uh, student like 75 80 percentage is there so depends on your companies, uh, companies okay. yes. so different companies have different different criteria hmm. so make sure which criteria you are having right now which eligibility you are having right now hmm. so plan accordingly hmm. and thank you so much for yes. the valuable information